Hello Asian everybody and welcome to another episode of The Journey, day 194. Today was a really nice day. Um, but really nice, I mean, I got... I, I You know, okay, I, I woke up and, uh, and I decided I needed to sleep a little bit more. I got up finally at 11am uh, and I had, felt like I had a really good amount of sleep. Not too much, not too little. Uh, I had some green tea and I wanted to work out, but I didn't actually have enough time to work out. Because I had to go to class. Uh, and I went to class... Um, uh, so after just doing after doing stretches and, and showering uh, and uh, then when I uh, after class ended I, I had to talk to my professor um, and then the conversation kind of kept going and um, just talked to him for a long time and turns out that there's now a new research opportunity for me if I wanted to pursue that that's cool um, it's good stuff to to know um, it's it's really interesting stuff as well, but it's it, this is where I'm not too sure what I really want to do, um, and I'm I think it's it's really interesting. This 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 would be more about using doctors note doctor notes in order to uh, find out more about the benef pros and cons of of a drug and like where it's good, where it's bad, and potentially even more about diseases. Um, where how they really start out, how they can come to be, and if you can detect a lot of stuff um, with data science, and the way to do it is with through numerical, um, numerically, uh, well, natural language processing. That's the, that's the word. Uh, you you have to be able to properly read the doctor's notes, and um, yeah, to to do that is is pretty difficult. Uh, uh, but if if we could, then essentially like. There's this is thing like Target was able to just with data science um, tell that this this woman was pregnant before she even knew herself, uh, and uh, and and that kind of thing where data is incredibly powerful, and um, and we could do a lot of stuff with that. And so that's really interesting. Um, if I could if I could be a part of that, that would be lovely. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that that was just great. Um, then I had my office hours, had work, uh, a guy was there and I helped him, but I was trying my best to, to focus on, on studying. Um, but obviously I had to help, uh, cause I, did, I was there to work and, uh, and then I had the exam. I was 20 minutes late to the exam because I was spending that time studying more and writing my note sheet, which happened to be, uh, unnecessary. Uh, but, uh, you know, I just felt better prepared that way and I knew I could finish the exam, uh, in, in good time. Although I think in the end, maybe, maybe spend a little too short uh, on the exam, but um, I think overall it really well uh, on the exam given how much I studied. Um, so that's good. Uh, I came home and I I didn't really feel like working out, but I I managed to work out and I'm really happy about that. So I, I got a workout in. That's really great. Uh, and then I went up to the mountains with. Uh, you know, actually, I, I was going to just then, after working out, um, like, do do a bunch of shit, like, get stuff done that needs to be done. And my friend, uh, but then Thomas, my friend, my friend Thomas asked me uh, if I wanted to go up to the mountains tonight and uh, just hang out there. And uh, I, I, uh, I ended up going with my girlfriend as well and another friend of, our, uh, of ours called Alex. So as for... We went to to the mountains and it was beautiful. Uh, it was it was dark. I mean, this was, this was already like at night, and there was like a, a kind of a what do you call it? A haze over Boulder. Uh, it was really pretty. And the cool part is then suddenly, um, and it actually happened suddenly. The the lights um, dimmed. And that's because there was a uh, fog that ended up coming into the mountains, and then all this, and then we we could barely see anything uh, around us uh, just for a little while, and then it cleared up again. It was really cool and it had a really mysterious, uh, almost scary kind of vibe to it. Uh, but but it was it was it was really lovely. And as it went away, the mountain like peak kind of the mountain peak, you know, poked through. And uh, that was a really nice image. And just watching over the city lights and stuff, it always makes me remember just, you know, how many people there are and how I'm one of so many people, um, one of one of billions of people. And um, and, and, and that, that, that obviously goes both ways. Like, you know, 
I don't have to worry too much about being the one to make a change, but also I feel like I want to, at the same time, I worry that, you know, I want to be, I want to set myself apart from others as well. Um, but I think everybody goes to that. Uh, so I think the best way to set yourself apart from others is to do what you love and to enjoy your life. And if you can do that, then you can also set yourself up for, apart from others in a good way, in a good way. You can always set yourself apart from others um, in, in a bad way. And that's very easy, uh, much easier than it is the other way around. So, yeah, that was that was actually really fantastic. And I'm really grateful for that. Uh, it reminded me of the time in Hong Kong when I was... Um, times where I watched over the city light uh, over the skyline and the star the sunset up at Lions Rock and um, this time it was different you know it's not like I realize I'm kind of sad I'm not I wasn't I was kind of sad I wasn't there but I was really happy actually that I was where I was uh, now in Boulder and it's different it's it's colder the view is different um, I mean, the Rocky Mountains, it's very different from the top tropical area um, that Southeast Asia is in. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, it's just, it was, uh, it's a good time. Yeah, really grateful for that. Um, friends that were came with us were, were really great. Um, and I'm happy I took my girlfriend with me. So, I came back home and uh, now I just talked to a friend of mine from Hong Kong. Christina, maybe you're seeing this if you are, hi, uh, I I was really happy to talk to her, um, it's it's good to know that she's doing well and she's ex enjoying everything in Hong Kong, um, I'm, I'm definitely jealous that she's still there, but um, also happy to be back, of course, but more so just nice to catch up and, and talk about a little bit of life um, with her, and just to see what she's up to, teaching Spanish now, getting like... 200 hong kong dollars an hour that's crazy man um good for her good for her i'm really happy that she's living the life and i uh, hope that she can continue doing that and it's it's, it's inspiring for me uh, it makes me want to really make my life better and and not fall back into the same old routine that i was in before and and take more away from everything that i've experienced in hong kong i feel like i'm kind of i've kind of forgotten about that you know in a way where i definitely haven't but at the same time it it doesn't seem to carry over too much in as far as i'm i'm aware of into my daily habits um and i want to change that I want to get better and I, I think i am better already um i think that's kind of i should should revolve revolve my identity around already being better and i think then i'll be much more likely to get stuff done but all right whatever uh, i played a game of league of legends today as well i went okay i realized when playing league that I I really need to focus and, and 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 act in the game and not be lazy on what I do. Like I don't know, it's hard it's hard to describe, but really try to to get more stuff done in League of Legends um in order to have more actions per minute and then um I think that that helps getting better at the game overall as well. So, yeah, it's good stuff, it's good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tag along for the right to grow, develop as a person, and get better and better in League of Legends to become a professional gamer. That's my goal in life currently. I will not stop until I get there. I've set myself on this. I'm going to do it. Um, and uh, I'm enjoying the journey along the way, and I will only do it for as long as I enjoy the journey along the way. So it's actually kind of... I don't want to stop doing it at all. Um, it would be very bad if I stopped for my for myself. And so I kind of feel like I'm forced to, like, enjoy my life in this way. And that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Um, and I'm happy about just where I'm at now. And I'm happy with life. And I, I hope that I can share a little bit of this happiness and gratitude of my life to other people. And, um, yeah. I don't know. Hope that I can inspire other people to do what they would like to do in their life. Why not? Why? Why not? Honestly, tell me. Why not? Why not you have a good time? Um why not you can do it i believe uh, i believe in myself and i believe in other people i believe in you so yeah make the best of it make the best of your life make the best of your day uh yeah just have a good one have a good fucking day man but yeah uh thank you guys so much for watching and uh, have a wonderful day Rocky.